So here we are at the 2010 Ryder Cup course at Celtic Manor. Everyone says it's fair, but it's very, very challenging from start to finish. We're about to find out. There are some teasing and tormenting par threes with loads of bunkers. Some of the tee shots here are ridiculously intimidating. The thing about the 2010 course is there's an awful lot of water. And of course in golf it's all about club selection. Well this rough asks an awful lot of questions and I'm not sure I've got the answers. And of course the great thing about golf is just occasionally you'll hit one like a pro. There's a lot of water on the course and there's also a lot of sand. And if you have the time, you can take in the views as well. The 15th is one of the great holes on the course. You can either play safe by going straight down the middle there and then turning immediately dog leg right onto the elevated green over there. Or if you're feeling really brave, you just go straight for it from here, making it a par three potentially, or a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, oblivion. Of course, it doesn't matter how well you drive, how well you play your long irons, how well you chip, if you can't putt. You're so close to major cities, so close to the M4, and yet there is so much space out there. Just look, there's a, there's a real sense of, of freedom and liberation about playing here. And the 18th is a great final hole. It's a long, long par five. The big hitters can make it in two, but look, it's just a huge expanse with that magnificent new bridge at the end. This is a, a great way to finish off the 2010 course. Well, challenging is certainly one word to describe this course, but it was a fair challenge and it's a magnificent championship arena. And if you get the chance to come and play here, you really ought to take it. <laughs>